Now let us solve these two examples. Design Turing machine for one's complement and two's complement. First, let us see how we can design Turing machine for one's complement. We know what is one's complement. Let we have a number like this one zero one zero. One's complement means ones are converted to zeros. Zeros will be converted to ones. So this one will be converted to zero. This zero will be converted to one. Next, this one will be converted to zero. This zero will be converted to one. Okay. So this is the logic here. Uh, so let us start at uh, the state Q naught. Here Q naught is the initial state. If the input is zero, then replace zero by. If the input is zero, then replace zero by one, and move the head towards the right. Next, if the input is one, then replace it with by zero, and move the head towards the right. Okay. So here first uh, read right head is at one. So one is replaced by zero, and head will be moved towards the right. Next zero, so zero means it will be replaced by one. So zero is replaced by one, and move the head towards the right. Next one means it is replaced by zero, and move the head towards the right. Next zero means it is replaced by one, and move the head towards the right. Towards the right. Now let us assume that at this position we have blank. So, if we reaches blank symbol on Q naught, then it specifies that we reach the complete input string is processed. It is ended. So, replace blank by blank only. So, there is no need to change the content, and move the head towards the left, and move the head towards the left. So, now the head is at this location. Now the head is at this location. So, let us assume that the state is now Q one. So, if we want, we can stop the process now. This is the Turing machine for one's complement. But in most of the test books, it is given as like this: uh, we have to traverse to the zero. Why? Because here we have started yet the most significant bit zero. So, it is better to end with zero only. Okay. So, if we want, we can stop here. Okay. Otherwise, it is better to move to, towards the left. And stop at zero position. Okay, so on Q one, on Q one, if if we if we read zero, if we find zero, then there is no need to change zero. Keep the content as it is and move the head towards the left. On Q one, if we read one, then keep that one as it is and move the head towards the left. Okay, next, what is the first bit here? One, one. So already one zero one zero is converted to zero one zero one. Already we got the output. Okay. So this one. So don't change one and move the head towards the left. So now the head is at this location. So if you read zero, don't change zero. Keep it as zero only and move the head towards the left. Next, if you read one, keep it as same only. Keep it as one only and move the head towards the left. Next, if you read zero, so keep it as zero only and move the head towards the left. So now we are at blank symbol. So if you read blank symbol on Q one. Then keep it as blank symbol only and move the head towards the right. So here we are, uh, uh, here we are reading blank symbol on Q1. So keep it as blank symbol only and move the head towards the right. Okay. So now we are at zero. So this is nothing but most significant bit. Here we have started it. This MSB bit only, and it is better to end at this location only. So this is nothing but our final state. So this is Turing mission. So there is no need to enclose. Q to within the circles, okay. Uh, so there is no need to enclose Q to within the double circles. In Turing machine, we don't, we, don't, we don't have any final state, okay. So here, this is the input and this is the output, okay. Now let's see how we can design Turing machine for two's complement. So till now we have seen about one's complement. So now let us focus on the two's complement. So let we have a number like this: one double zero, one double zero. So what is the two's complement of this number? So two's complement means one, uh, first we need to find the one's complement, and then we have to add one to the one's complement. So how to calculate one's complement? So this one will be converted to zero, zero will be converted to one, zero will be converted to one, one will be converted to zero. So zero means one, zero means one, and then we have to add one to the one's complement. One plus one means zero with a carry one. One plus one means zero with a carry one. Zero plus one means one. Next one one zero. Okay, 
let us take uh, let us perform uh, uh, two's complement on another number so first to find the one's complement so one will be converted to zero zero will be converted to one one will be converted to zero zero will be converted to one and then you add one one plus one means zero with a carry one zero plus one means one next zero one okay so if we observe here so this is nothing but our binary number this is nothing but our two's complement result our two's complement result okay if we observe here the logic is very very simple uh, here uh, uh, for getting the result it is better to read from uh, this msb to the this lsb to the msb actually this one is nothing but most significant bit this zero is nothing but least significant bit here in order to produce the result it is better to traverse from least to significant bit to the most significant bit okay uh, here we have we are keeping this zero as it is next this zero as it is this one as it is so here we need to start from least significant bit up to first one up to first one keep the bits as it is up to first one here this is the first one so we are keeping all these three bits as it is and after that zeros will be converted to ones ones will be converted to zero so next this zero is converted to one this zero is converted to one this one is converted to zero okay let us apply the same logic up to here we have to read from least significant bit to the most significant bit up to first one we have to keep them as it is so zero will be as it is one will be as it is next this zero will be converted to one one will be converted to zero so this is our uh, process here uh, now we have to design the turing machine for this one uh, so let us take 1010 let us take 1010 1010 here we have blank symbol here we have blank symbol uh, so let us start at q not state q not state let us start at q not state so initially the head is at the most significant bit here we have to traverse the head till we get the blank symbol why because here we have to read the data from least significant bit to the most significant bit so don't change the bits so keep them as it is so if we read Zero on Q not. Keep it as zero only and move the head towards the right. If we read one on Q not, keep it as one only and move the head towards the right. Okay. So here we have one. So this one will be keep. This one will be written as it is. Next, next, next. This zero will be written as it is and we have to move the head towards the right. Next, this one will be written as it is. Next, this zero will be written as it is. Now we are at this position. Okay. If we read zero on Q not, then keep them as it is only. Keep it as same only, and move the head towards the right. Move the head towards the right. So now the head is at the last position, blank position, blank space. It specifies that we reach the end of the string. Okay. So if we reach the B on Q not state, then if we read B on Q not state, then keep it as same only, and move the head towards the left in order to get least significant bit. So on Q not we have read B. So keep it as blank symbol only and move the head towards the left. So now the head is at at this position. So on Q one, on Q one, what is the logic here? Up to first one, we have to keep the bits same. So on Q one, if we read any number of zeros, then keep it as zero only and move the head towards the left. Up to first one. So whenever we read one on Q one. Then keep it as one only and move the head towards the left. Okay, up to first one we need to repeat this process. So this zero will be written as it is only. So on Q one, if we read zero, uh, keep it as same only and move the head towards the left. So now we are at this position. On Q one, if we read one, keep it as same only, but move the head towards the left. Move the head towards the left. So now the head is at this location. Q two. So on Q two, here after the first one, here we are reading from least significant bit. After the first one, that means these two bits, we have to invert them, we have to change them. So if we read zero on Q two, then zero will be converted to one and move the head towards the left. If we read one on Q two, one on Q two, then one will be converted to zero and move the head towards the left. Okay. So now what will happen on Q two? We have re re read zero. So this zero will be converted to one. Next on Q two one. So we need to replace with zero, and then move towards the left. Okay. 
So that means what is this position? Blank symbol. So now the read write head is at, at, at this blank position. So if you read blank symbol on Q2, then keep it as same only. Keep it as blank symbol only and move the head towards the left. And move the head towards the left. And move the head towards the left. So now we are at Q3 state. So now we can stop the diagram. Okay. So initially we have started at 0, most significant bit. And now we have ended at, so what is the last state? The last state is Q3. And we have ended at most significant bit only. Okay. Uh, so what is, uh, what is the two's complement of 1010? First we need to find, uh, first we need to find 1's complement. So 0, 1, 0, 1. Next you add 1. So 1 plus 1, 0, they carry 1. 0 plus 1, 1. So 0, double 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0. So this is the result here. So what is the logic here? Here the logic is very, very simple. So what is the number here? The number is 1, double 0, 1, double 0. So here, here, this is the blank symbol. This is the blank symbol. So we have to start at this one and move the head on Q0. Now we are at this one. So on Q0, if you read 0 or 1, skip it as same only, but move the head towards the right. So 1 will be written as it is only. Next 0 will be written as it is only. Next 0 as it is. 1 as it is. 0 as it is. 0 as it is. Now we are at the blank symbol. So if you read B on Q0, then keep it as blank symbol only but move the head towards the left. So now we are at, at this position. Now we are at this position. So here, what is the logic here? Up to first one, we have to keep the bits as it is. So on Q1, we have zero. So keep it as zero only and move the head towards the left. So now we are at, at zero. Uh, on Q1, zero. So that means keep it as zero only, but move the head towards the left. So this is the first one. On one, one on Q1 means keep it as one only, but move the head towards the left. Next, up to first one, there is no need to change the bits. And after that, invert them, ch uh, change them. So this on Q2, so 0 will be converted to 1. Next, 0 will be converted to 1. 1 will be converted to 0. And after that, left means, now we are at this blank symbol. So on Q2, if you read blank symbol, then keep it as B only, but move the head towards the left. So now we are at, at this position. So what is the two's complement of this number? 0, double 1, 1, double 0. So 0, double 1, 1, double 0. So 0, double 1, 1, double 0. 0, double 1, 1, double 0. So in this way, we can compute 2's complement for, uh, in this way, we can we can design or we can construct curing mission for 1's complement and 2's complement of a given binary number.